guys, it's Mandy. Hello. Um, this is a red, orange, and purple look. I think it's very pretty. I think everybody should try it with whatever brand they have. It doesn't have to be MAC. It never has to be MAC. It's just what I prefer, and I've tried a lot over the years. So, um, it's all personal preference. Uh, so, if you like it, try it. Keep watching. And thanks for watching. Bye. Okay, today we're going to start with, if I was going out, I would normally put like, um, Urban Decay Primer Potion underneath, but tonight I'm just going to use my pearl cream color base, because I would use this over my base anyway, but, so whatever. So I'll be using this over my Urban Decay if I was going out or wearing this for a day, because I can't survive without my primer base. Or I crease like a mother, I'll say that. Okay, so first color we're going to be using is Off the Radar, which is Max, really pretty orange color. I tend to shut the little jars really tight so I don't lose them, but then I can't get them open. Okay, so I'm going to use my 3 8 paintbrush. I'm going to put this all over the lid. I'm going to do a video, honey. You have to go. Okay. And the cream color base is awesome because this stuff sticks right to it. I mean, Mac knew what they were doing when they were making it. I just wish they would have found a way for it not to crease. You know. But, whatever. That's whatever it is. Okay, next. For the upper crease. Area. We're going to put Ruby Red, which is a pigment. I don't know if it's with a limited or if it's a pro or whatever. Whatever it is, I need to find it because it's awesome. I'm going to use my 217. And it doesn't take much. Very strong color. I'm just going to take this. Go on my face. And this is like not even half of what was, I mean, this is just a tip tap on this cap and there's like nothing in there. I mean, it doesn't take much of this stuff. So if I actually got my hands on a full jar, it would probably last forever. Okay, by using the 217 this way, like this, it's going to blend itself into the orange very nicely. Because it is wider this way than it is this way. And if I went like this, you know, with the thinner, it would have stayed lower on my eye. But I wanted it a little higher. So, we got that there. And if you go out a little far, just take a Q-tip. Clean that up a bit. Okay, next I'm going to take the color Satellite Dream, which is a purple. You can get it out for you. Um, satellite dream. Very pretty. Prettiest purple, I swear. Okay, I'm going to take this nondescript fluffy all over eyeshadow brush because my brushes from MAC aren't here yet. Otherwise, I would probably use the 222 for this. I'm going to use this the skinny way. This way, not this way. Because I want it to stay in the crease. I'm using very little of this. Okay, once you get it in your crease, like this, and it looks like a vine, you can turn it the fat way, like this, and it will blend out. So, and then all this is doing is defining the crease just a little bit. And I picked the purple instead of a black, because purple goes very well with red and very well with orange. You can't go wrong with that. Blend it for a second with that. Okay. Alright, now for my highlight, I'm going to use Naked Pigment, of course, because I'm such a predictable person. Naked Pigment up here with my half inch paintbrush. When I get my 224, this will probably be replacing a lot of what this brush does. All we have is water, baby. I'm 
just like that. And if you think you took away too much red, just take the same brush that you have. You don't need to add anything to it. So we have one left on it. Like that. Okay, so now... I'm going to put my eyeliner on. My eyeliner, eyeliner, which is black track. Awesome, awesome eyeliner. I don't know if I'm going to get that rapid liner stuff from MAC. I really enjoy this gel, so I don't know if I'm going to switch. Okay. See how that's all retarded? Sorry, dumb. I don't want to say that word. I don't want to teach my daughter words. I don't want her to say. So, take my Q-tip and just cut it off. That's good. I mean, Q-tips really are a makeup girl's best friend. So, now, I'm going to do my wireline. I'm just see what's using Revlon Color Stay Black in my waterline. And it's funny because on this eye, I lifted up my eye and I did the upper. And then by the time I was done with it, my eye had watered so bad that it had all washed off anyway. So that's why I don't bother doing my uppers. It's just ridiculous. My eyes are so dumb. Okay, I'm going to take the what's on this red brush and go underneath this a little bit to bring it down with the hair. But I don't want it to go too far because so then I'll look like I'm sick or something. Like I have sore eyes or something. But that's it. And I think it's beautiful. So once again, it's off the radar, ruby red and satellite dreams. And they can take me as a highlight. Gorgeous, gorgeous. I suggest this for anybody, especially if you have like blue eyes. It'll, just, it'll make them look really good. So, thanks for watching and have a good night. Bye.